I found this R collaborative project very interesting. As a middle school science teacher, the driving question that I hear every day is how to engage students in their learning. It has been a difficult, challenging technology fiascos and more, but the one true thing is how to engage in true relationships. Building strong relationships takes time and honesty. Keeping those relationships alive takes time and dedication. How to engage myself in my career, in my daily life, with my friends and relatives, with my community. Well, for me, sewing has been a great distressor and a way to connect and give back. As a child, I learned how to sew. I was around 11 years old when I started sewing, using a sewing machine, and even sewed my finger, but those were not obstacles that I let my sewing path stop me. Now as an adult, a mother, a teacher, a legal guardian, and caregiver for my special needs sister, I continue to sew. Sewing has become a daily activity that I do to distress. My sewing machine with boxes of fabrics, remnants, threads has migrated to the dining room table and have found a hiding space next to the legs of the dining room table. Sewing is an activity that brings me peace and a sense of tranquility. It is a way to connect with my family, relatives, and friends, as I always give them a specially handmade mask that suits their personality and interest. It allows me to make and keep connections with my students, as all of them go to make their own mask for school, and when it is their birthday, they get a new one. It connects me with my neighbors, as I have an excuse to go visit, to deliver a mask to them. It connects me with my community, as member of my community may ask for a mask for their child, daughter, son, adult, that may require more delicate sewing for their needs, and I can offer to sew for them what they need. The start of the pandemic has renewed my love for sewing, my love for being creative, my love to give back, and has helped me Keep my stress low as I feel productive, connected, and engaged.